Hi everyone, welcome to another Kitchen Empties. I have a lot of items that I didn't include because they're repeats. Um, Maggie's carrots and coleslaw and fruits and vegetables, as well as we eat a lot of meat, chicken, beef, hamburgers. I haven't included any of that. What I'm trying to include is new things and we're going to start off healthy and then get not so healthy. So, kefir. This is so healthy for you. It has wonderful pre and probiotics. Every brand has different ones and they have like lots of live action culture in them. That being said, I now I'm making my own kefir. I have a friend at work, a co-worker, and he gave me some of his live kefir grains. I was so touched and blessed that he would give this to me. And then I realized, yeah, <laughs> these things multiply like more than rabbits. I need 50 friends that I can give this away to. I'm feeding it to Maggie every day, the grains. They grow constantly. So, I mean, not saying he didn't have a good heart, but now I understand why he was so generous. And I love having kefir. You're going to see a lot of things here are from the Super Gut book. And some of these are cannellini beans and chickpeas. I will post things below, but this is for my hummus. Very easy to do. I really enjoyed it. I don't know that I would do some of the vegetable parts on a regular basis. I just naturally eat more carnivore. So I'm reverting to how I naturally eat. More that was inspired by the Super Gut book, and it's so easy and delicious, I'll link it below. A marinated artichoke heart dip. This is great with vegetables, and Mark likes it. Although, I am going to be adding spinach to it, which is his request. And Parmesan cheese. I get this from Trader Joe's, the shaved Parmesan and Romano Asiago cheese. I'll link this recipe below. It was so easy and so good. Black beans. I have a lovely cilantro black bean tomato salad that I'll link below again, inspired by Supergat, that I pulled this out of my archives. I, in the winter, will, am also going to be making a black bean soup that I really enjoy. Cheese, this isn't as healthy as the brick cheese that you cut up yourself or grate yourself. It's easy, <laughs> what can I say? We use things like this fairly often, but I also try to do the brick. The brick is much healthier for you. On the vein of healthy things, a ruteri. This is something I put in my yogurt and I love. And I now have something where I posted a video on the two ways that I've done yogurt. And I just very recently got an instant pot. Let me know if you want to see how I do yogurt. It's so easy. You take any kind of glass container and you put that into the Instant Pot, there's no cleaning. You pull this out and there's your yogurt and you put it in the fridge. So incredibly easy, but this bacteria, or prebiotic, the culture, is so healthy for you. There is ones that just help your gut biome and the mucus lining get thicker. There's ones that help with SIBO, with SIFO, all different ones, and I am like loving my yogurt. I've lost weight because of this yogurt. I feel better. Everybody commented in my Get Ready With Me that I look better. It's just, I can't tell you enough how much I love prebiotics, and I'll link these below. Hatch green chilies, I love these. I recently did them in um, enchiladas de Suiza. I'll link that recipe below. Mark enjoys those. They're also a green taco, really enjoy that. My Dr. Berg electrolyte powder, I do like this a lot and I've gotten used to the drink. I'm not sure if I will be purchasing it. I've got my kombucha that I make and I'll link that recipe below. I think that with my uh, apple cider vinegar and some lemon, I'm not sure if I need to be buying this and it does get fairly expensive, so we'll see. 
nutritional yeast. I take this before bed because of the bees. That being said, because of the Supercut book, I have been taking a pill form of the bees, which is easier. I frequently would go to take this before bed, and it's like, oh, I just brushed my teeth, but I need my vitamin B, and so I take it, and it gets kind of gummy in between your teeth. I think I like just taking the vitamin B complex pill better. This whipping cream went with these in my enchiladas de Suiza. It's such an easy, good recipe. If you already have the chicken breast left over from something else, then you slice that up and it's so easy. Just dip the tortillas in the green chili sauce and then put chicken, cheese, black olives, green onions, roll them up in a 9 by 12 and pour this with the leftover sauce. It's the easiest recipe. Like I said, I'll link it below. Um, mayonnaise, I love mayonnaise with um, artichoke heart. I do all kinds of different recipes. I'll link a couple of them below and some of them probably involve cream cheese. I think all of that is healthy. Now, I prefer to make my own mayonnaise without the bad um, oil. It has soybean oil, which is horrible for you. So it's much better if you make it yourself with olive oil and it's really easy. So I usually do that when I make one of the recipes that I'll link below. Coconut oil spray, you'll see when I get to the dessert section. This is about the healthiest thing that I have in that dessert section. But you gotta live. Pickled beets, I love my beets and they help a lot with your SIBO. Betaine, which I take, is beet tain really healthy for your gut. Oranges, Maggie loves her oranges. I didn't put a lot of stuff of Maggie's in here. That um, chicken, sorry for the noise, enchilada de Suiza. These zero carb tortillas are really good as are the mission tortillas. I really enjoy those. We did this Trader Joe's Harvest Breast. It was good and Mark enjoyed it. $12 for one meal for two. That's pricey in my opinion. I could make this for two or three dollars with a chicken breast. So it was very good. It is stuffed with butternut squash, sweet potato, onions, carrots, and wild rice. I don't think it was anything better than the other dishes that I make. The salsa verde, I did a chicken taco dish and I'll link that below and that was really good. And then, I know it's not the healthiest, this is, well, actually, I don't know if it's that bad. Let me look at it. Corn, water, and salt. I'm sure the corn is GMO. What else is new? That's what we're living with these days. But Mark really likes this corn, and it's easy to use in all different things. So, I have been switching over to decaf coffee. I know that the water makes this not as healthy but I think decaf coffee is probably better than caffeinated and I enjoy, I'm not picky, I like my coffee iced and this is actually a really nice way to have your coffee and what makes it a little healthier, no matter whether you take it hot or iced or decaf or regular, sprinkle some cinnamon and I got this from the Super Gut book, ginger. The flavors on there make it taste like it's a decadent Starbucks drink and it makes it healthy for you and it's something really easy to do. I use stevia in my iced coffee. This lasts forever and I think it's like nine dollars. That's how much you put in. This tiny, tiny little scoop. I find other ones I end up using like a teaspoon or more. That's not even an eighth of a teaspoon. It's so small. And so this lasts forever. I really like this. And by the way, that was the Trader Joe's stevia. This pie crust, several of you have said that you've made the pie crust and you've done different adaptations with my recipe and I love that. I love when you can take a good recipe that's simple and easy and make it your own. This is so easy. It does involve some Campbell's soup. I don't try to be perfect and I don't claim to be. I try to do the best that I can while still living life and enjoying life. 
And so Campbell's soup is probably not the healthiest, but I'm okay with that. I need some convenience sometimes with my busy life. So this chicken pot pie makes a huge nine inch big pie, lots of leftovers that we put in the freezer. It was so easy. Put in the chicken, some frozen veg, some Campbell's soup, and the, you put the pie crust on the bottom, put in the filling, some seasoning, and the pie crust on the top. We had leftovers, stuck it in the freezer. That lasted several other nights. Really, really like this, and it's a beautiful, hearty winter dish. So we're about to get into desserts. Sugar. This is a constant in our household for the hummingbirds, but I do also bake, and every weekend up here I bake something for Mark. I will have it as well. Now, I don't have a lot. I try to <laughs> ration myself, but I do enjoy it, and I'm not going to apologize. Like I said, I'm not an all or nothing or fanatical or perfectionist. I try to do the best that I can, and it's not perfect, but it's better than if I don't try. <laughs> so, blueberries, I do these sometimes in my homemade yogurt that I do the al ruderai in. I also give them to Maggie, at least 20 a day, and she loves them. Sometimes she plays catch with them, and sometimes we put them in her food, sliced up, because otherwise they come out whole. Just a word to the wise. Um, angel food cake mix. This is wonderful in a bun pan with either pineapple or, I can't remember, oh, lemon was the other, uh, a can of lemon pie filling or pineapple pie filling. Put that into a bundt cake and it comes out really nice and it's easy and it just tastes fresh. It's really, really nice. These three go together. Mark loves my lemon poppy seed cake and it's done in a bundt pan. I think a bundt pan just makes everything better. Poppy seeds, lemon pudding, and the super moist lemon cake mix. And I will link it below. This is my mother's recipe. Super easy. And Mark asked for it. It's so decadent. It's a step above having a coffee cake, but it's really, really good. Butter, something we always have with our baked goods. And then the final dessert item before I get into household items is this Trader Joe's gluten-free chocolate chip brownie mix. Eh, I love Trader Joe's. This was easy. I make way better brownies myself, so wouldn't recommend that. Household items, Kleenexes, uh, just a standard we go through. In the morning, I blow my nose more than later throughout the day. That shows your gut needs more acid. So once I have my apple cider vinegar or betaine, then I get healthier and my nose gets drier by this time, which is later in the afternoon my nose is dry. But in the morning, we go through more Kleenexes. Maggie also gets this. You could put it in their water. A lot of dogs don't enjoy that. You put it in their food. Probably as much as they will handle to not be turned off of their food. We mix a lot of things into Maggie's food, like water, cabbage, carrots. Um, we have our homemade food and kibble. So we get away with about a teaspoon of this. Oh, coconut. She loves coconut oil. Omega. Um, you know, a lot of things like that. I'll link a video that I did below of what we feed her. But that allows us to put about a teaspoon of this. You know, it's a pump. I put it into a pump bottle in her morning and her evening. And that helps her gut. She can get allergies with the runny eyes and kind of the droopy nose. This helps. And we notice her allergies kind of match mine. Not, they don't match Mark's. They're more up here than in the valley, which is sad because we both Maggie and I love it up here. But this helps her to handle the seasonal allergies. I don't remember what I use this in, but almond extract. I love almond extract and vanilla extract in my baking. These quart storage bags, we use a lot of bags and I do Maggie's food and put it into individual bags and we usually put, you know, take out a half serving from the bag 
so there's two meals in the bag. We freeze a lot of different things and it's not as good as freezing it in glass, but it is really, really handy. Vinegar, I've talked before about using it in my dishwasher. Washer. And thank you to Christina for telling me that the rinse aid leaves a coating on your dishes. I didn't know that. So this is a great reason to use it in your dishwasher instead of rinse aid. But I also use it sometimes in my hot water on my floors. I use it on a lot of different things. And speaking on my floors, bleach. I love bleach on my tile floors. Down in the valley we have wood, so I obviously can't do that. Occasionally I'll do a splash in my laundry. And then finally, Glade Cashmere Woods. It's just nice whether you have a stinky garbage to freshen it up or use it like a poopery in the bathroom. So that was everything I had. I hope maybe you picked up a tip or two. I'll try to remember to link all of the recipes I referenced below. And thank you for spending time with me. I really appreciate it. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. We'll talk to you next time. And apparently we have somebody here who thinks that mommy should be playing with her. You think I should play with you, huh, Maggie? Huh? I bet people can see you. <laughs> I bet they can see you in the window. <laughs> You're so funny. Brother. Why don't you go play with Danny? Mommy will be done in a minute. And then I'll come play with you. You're such a good girl. Maggie, come on. Oh, I'm sorry, baby girl. You're so good. You are such a sweet girl. Mommy loves you. Maggie, you gotta go out. <laughs> go out, little baby. You're a good girl. Out. No, don't trip. Hey, hey, hey. Don't trip over Mommy's tripod. Out. Go get Daddy. Where's Daddy? Go get Daddy. Daddy should be playing with you. Yes, go get Daddy. The other thing is... Oh, I lost my train of thought.